I'm here at Digital Shovel in our robotic welding facility. Today we're excited to show you one of our new implementations in our manufacturing facility. We're using two robotic robots. We take and make the pods in our standard welding area, we fit them up, then we move them over here into this robotic jig that we've developed completely in house. Something that used to take hours can now be done in mere minutes. This particular unit can operate without a cell because we've got two operators on either side of me here that do not have, or that have, operate the robots using a dead man switch. And then we have a new unit over here which is going to be doing a fully automated process of loading and unloading the pieces. That will go into a cell, but I'm gonna show you that as well today. So what I've got behind me is one of our new fully automated setups. This is going to go into a cell and what it does, it has the ability of using this large pick and place robot here to pick up parts, put them onto the jig. The jig is then going to weld the floor and the roof of our mini pod, uh, both the top and the bottom, and then offload those pieces and put them down onto the ground. Uh, that process is going to happen fully automatic, it's going to be in a fully enclosed cell. We anticipate having that up and running probably within the next two to three months on a fully automated unit. All right, so in order to get a nice clean weld, what our robot needs to do is it needs to trim its wire. Uh, so we have an automated wire trimming unit here. And that is completely controlled by this PLC down on this side. Uh, the unit is going to come over. We are running it in slow mode right now because it is not in slow cell, so we're moving less than 250 millimeters per second. And the next thing this robot is going to do, it is going to go over and find the part. So it's going to touch the part, find the piece, see if it's out of alignment, and then it's going to start its weld. As you can see, the robot is taking and doing the weave of the weld, just like a human would. Uh, I'm going to show you some of those welds in, uh, in real time here momentarily as well. So, the, the robot's going to jump from section to section, a little weld at a time, that way it doesn't put too much heat into one area. Something that a human can also do, however, every time they need to set up and move around, it requires a lot more time. Um, we're able to do the same program over and over and over, dramatically reducing uh, the human error element, as well as dramatically reducing the amount of time that it takes to do each one of our pods. For more details on this and other advancements that we're going to have coming out, check out our website, digitalshovel.com, or you can follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, all digital underscore shovel on all four of them. Check us out there.